Reef Bum is sponsored by Champion Lighting and Supply, Polo Reef, and Fauna Marine. Hey everybody and welcome back to another video. So I am at the point now where I want to get rid of this Carib Sea Life Rock from this display tank. I've been struggling with it for a couple of years and it just seems to be an algae magnet. There is no porosity on this rock and it seems to grow bubble algae cyano is attracted to it i need something with a lot more porosity i liked this rock originally because it had some really cool shapes to it it had i, I picked up a whole bunch of arch pieces which was great because it allowed me to have an open aquascape a lot of swim throughs but after two years of hitting uh my head against the table with this stuff and trying bunch of different things and just not having any luck getting rid of the uh, cyano mainly you can see there's some cyano now on the uh, bottom of the tank cyano is on the rock itself pain in the ass really a pain in the ass and listen maybe it's just me i don't know if others have had issues with this carib sea life rock i don't mean to knock the company or the rock itself but Really, you need something that is about as porous as you can get with dry rock to have a chance, I think. Without the porosity, you're not going to have as many places for the bacteria to colonize. So that's not a, um, an optimal situation in my eyes. This is just my opinion. So I've got 100 pounds of the Haitian live rock, which was... Man, I picked it up years ago for this 187-gallon uh, display tank, and I had it in this tank, and I decided to uh, remove that live rock. That live rock is not terribly porous as well, but it's a lot more porous than this uh, Carib Sea life rock. And it's been in my cryptic sum for a long time, at least a couple of years. Well, I guess I swapped it out when I put this stuff in. So the plan is to take this stuff out and put the Haitian live rock back in. I might not put all of the Haitian live rock back into the uh, display tank. I want to have a more open aquascape than what I originally had when I was using the, uh, the Haitian live rock, but I'm really just tired of the fight with the algae. It's been a few months and I haven't um, yet planted any frags in this tank, which I did um, reboot i want to put frags in here but i want to put frags i don't want to put frags in this tank when i'm constantly fighting the uh, the algae issues and you know the the two frag tanks that are plumbed into it don't really have a lot of um cyano so i am going to put the carib sea life rock in the cryptic sump and the hope is that all the uh, sponges filter feeders what have you will absorb there's a ton of that stuff in there. will absorb whatever's leaching out of this uh, life rock. And yeah, so that's, that's the hope at least. Will I need to reduce the light intensity? Perhaps. Perhaps I will um, ramp it all down for the first uh, couple of months. I don't know. It's a, I'm, I'm a little bit bummed out because... I'm going to have to reset this uh, display tank again, and it's, it's going to go through an ugly period, you know, when you've got the Haitian live rock that's been in the dark for so long, and then you put it out under lights. It's going to be an algae magnet. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to um, probably slowly ramp up the lights on this uh, tank. But I, I'm going to, you know, maybe this display tank is, just has a penchant for attracting algae, cyano, and what have you. I don't know. But I'm kind of tired of fighting that fight, so I'm going to shuffle things around a little bit, see if that helps, and we'll uh, come back down the line with an update. 
So that'll do it for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Until next time, be safe and be well. Later.